In Halo Infinite's tag map, there is a tab for upgrades. And 343 has spoken about what the upgrade tab means. Is it ranking up? Is it a skill tree, possibly? Well, in this video, we'll go into all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news, informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. And if you want to stay up to date with all the information as we ramp up to Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe on the channel guys. So let's get right into the information here. With so many new game mechanics for Halo Infinite, a lot of people have started to speculate what the upgrades tab is. A lot of people have said maybe it's a skill tree kind of thing, maybe it's something tied to experience. Because when we think of upgrades, we think of how we improve our character over time, which is generally associated to RPG-like games. Though Halo Infinite is not an RPG game, so what do the upgrades do for you? Well, IGN had an interview with 343, one of them being Chris Lee, who's the head of Halo Infinite, and they go into some detail about the upgrades you can find in Halo Infinite. Chris Lee is quoted here saying, we do have a light upgrade system for Chief as he explores this ring. He'll be able to upgrade equipment items. The grapple and drop shield that we showed are kind of in that concept of spiritual reboot that harking back to the equipment system in Halo 3. Those are two new equipment items that Chief will be able to find and use as you play through the game. So with Chris Lee mentioning upgrade equipment items, this makes me think that the equipment that we saw within the gameplay trailer has to be tied to the upgrades in some kind of way. This is an important thing that Chris actually mentions within this quote saying Chief will be able to find and use as you play through the game. Now there is a big emphasis on exploration as this is a open world like game, which makes me think that as you progress through the game, you'll find unlocks probably within the world itself, probably doing some extra exploration. And then you'll be able to add that to your upgrades, which would be maybe like equipment that you can have on at all times. So the one I'm thinking is that once you find that item or probably do the mission or side mission, whatever that helps you unlock that upgrade, then you can probably attach it to your character. As my friend, Patman Gaming pointed out, within the Discover Hope trailer, there is no grapple shot on Chief's arm because that's the very beginning of the game. So at some point you find the grapple shot and then you add it to your character. There's one important thing I do want to point out during the gameplay, demo reveal that we saw that once Chief picked up the drop wall, it replaced the grapple hook. But once he used that drop wall, the grapple hook came back and the grapple hook is on a cooldown. So this makes me think since the equipment seemed to be attached to the upgrade system, this makes me believe that you upgrade your character by selecting what kind of default equipment that you want to have on a recharge ability, maybe a drop wall, maybe it's the grapple shot or something like that. And then within the game, if you pick up a new piece of equipment that's just a one-time use thing while well, the equipment that you selected in the upgrade tab is probably on a recharge time which to me does seem to make a bit of sense as it does seem like that the game is also developed around not having a grapple shot on your character as a core ability within the campaign it was stated that within that gameplay that the player themselves decided to use the grapple shot in a unique way that went on a side path that was not actually the intended path in the mission that's you know fully developed like a walkway that takes you right to where you need to go they chose to use a unique ability of the gravel shot to get around the map in a unique way so this makes me believe that you can kind of customize your gameplay experience a bit by using different types of equipment as your upgrades now another interesting ui piece within the tag map is that when you hover over a mission it has a star with a certain amount of points attached to it now does this mean that once you accumulate so many points that you can use those to up upgrade your equipment in some way. Possibly, that's just my speculation right there, but uh, no one knows for sure what those star points are for. Though we do know there is no experience gain to help level up your character, this is certainly some kind of in-game point accumulation that I would think would be useful in some way, which I would think probably would be tied to the upgrades of the equipment that you find within the world. I can already see it now, the 12 equipments and all their locations video already. So what are your thoughts on having the equipment as something you could find within the game? Should it 
be something kind of linear that you just kind of come across and pick up and, and just get by just playing the main story? Or should it be something that you actually kind of have to go searching for? Me, personally, I think it'd be cool to have it as like a known side mission, which would probably help you give you some more equipment to help progress through the game and do some more tasks, maybe easier or in a more efficient way or in the way that you want to do it your own. Since Halo Infinite is putting such a big emphasis on exploration within this world that I would like to see that as something you can do. So what are your thoughts on that? Do you, are you excited about having equipment as a selectable ability that you have as your character as the cooldown rather than uh, just having to be in a one-time use thing? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments to try to reply to most of them as well. If you want to stay up to date with all the Halo information or you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos right here. I got a link to all my playlists that has a place all my news and informational videos. We've been grinding on content like crazy, guys. The support on the channel has been insane. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.